Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, today we're going to install a GFCI receptacle. And this one's going to go on the outside of a house. So, we're going to install one of these outside. Let me show you how that works. So I just installed this box, I cut it into the siding, um, the homeowner didn't have one here, so this can go pretty much at any home. All I did was tap into the inside outlet, and now I'm going to... Go ahead and strip this back. And I'm going to take these wires you want to leave about six or eight inches outside of the box for all you homeowners and then you want to strip back about that much so a half inch so and the pliers I'm using are these so the hole we're using is this one the 14 this first hole the second hole is for, because it's copper. Then, for the ground, on the new outlets, these are weather resistant for outside. And then they're, this one's also tamper resistant, but it says here WR for weather resistant. That's what goes outside. And then what we're going to do is they actually go if you look on the back of your GFIs let's see it says the line down here it says load so whenever you're dealing with just one set of wires that's going to go under line. If you have two sets, so you have a set coming in, another set going out to something, um, and you're not the one that installed it, so you're just replacing a GFI, you want to make sure, let's say you're replacing a GFI, you want to make sure that the one that's marked line, you have a silver screw, that's your white wire. You have a brass screw, that's your black wire. Green screw is the ground wire. So green for ground. So you wanna make sure that the line is the hot wire. The load is your, your protected outlets downstream from here. So, that would be the other outlets. Let's say you have a GFCI in your garage and your plugs on your back deck don't work. Then you would go into your garage, check your GFCI plug, see if it's tripped, reset it. You're supposed to reset your, or test and reset your GFIs once a month most people don't even know that um, do it so go around your house and hit the test button your little reset button so if you look at the front of these it says on it test reset so go around your house hit your little test button the little reset button is going to pop out push the reset button back in so it should reset 
if it doesn't then that means that your plug is bad you need a new one it's that simple um, call an electrician or watch this video do it yourself turn the power off to your house homeowners so right now with this wire you're just going to push it in as far as you can tighten it up that ground green silver screw line side white wire tighten it up I'm using a impact driver that it's strong enough to take the lug nuts off your car so putting these wires on with this screw gun should be more than enough then you're just going to tuck your wires when you tuck your wires you want to zigzag them back and forth and then just make sure your ground wire doesn't get near your hot screw then push get your two screws lined up then you just want to barely screw them in just a little then push your plug in so your two screw heads are sticking out i'll show you why you're going to get yourself a weatherproof cover so get yourself one of these open up the cover packaging and once you open up the cover packaging you can throw all this other stuff away it comes with all these adapters so if you need a switch a circular plug if you're doing duplex receptacles and then it comes standard for the GFI and then you have this piece this is your insulator you want that take that piece out this piece push the two center pieces over the screw like so then all you do is you open up your cover and then you see the two slots here there's two slots see you're gonna slide those in and down and then you're going to tighten that up over your There you go. You just installed a GFI receptacle. Then all you would do to confirm that it's on is hit the reset button. Push it in. There you are. You have a brand new GFI receptacle. Weatherproof cover on the side of your house. So, if this video helped you, go ahead and hit the like button subscribe and there'll be many more to come so thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next one have a great day